Good evening, todos mi gentes. How is everybody? Welcome to Casa de Rosado Galleria and Cultural Center. Tonight we have a very special evening. We're going to take a walkthrough of our Samaritan's Refugee Art Exhibit. Come along, let's take a look. Art appreciation is one of the enrichment activities for Samaritan's Refugee Foster Care, unaccompanied refugee minors, and other un unaccompanied children from the border crisis. Let's take a look at this exhibit right here. We have our feature painting in the exhibit. It is actually a, a mural that's in one of the centers, and we just saw Edwin's piece, of Follow Your Dreams. Right now, we are looking at another beautiful, strong piece. We are looking at a piece by Maria called Las Mandas, and she's from Honduras, and she says these hands represent that no matter what skin color you are, or what religion you are, or what country you're from, we are all equal. We are all worth the same as the other person, regardless of its physical appearance or anything. This is a piece by Barry. He's from Guinea. He says the two historical symbols of my country mean several things. The card has three colors, which are red, yellow, and green. Red means the blood of the people who lost their lives for independence, and yellow means the richness of the underground, and green means vegetation. Barry says that during his trip, he learned a lot about the culture of others. At the same time, I then shared with them my culture. This is a painting called Dusk by Maria, and she's from Honduras, and she says, the reason I painted this painting is because February 16th, 2020 was when I said my last goodbye to a very important person in my life, and I was inspired. Life and Opportunity by Danish from Afghanistan. He says, the background is messy but beautiful. It re represents life and the squares represent opportunity. Anything positive. This is by Maximo. It's called The Moon and Silhouette. And he says he's learned many new skills in the U.S. And some already does. And he currently does volunteer work and enjoys helping others. He would like to have a good job, earn lots of money, and have a nice car someday. And he wants to continue on work on learning his English. This is a manuscript from a refugee youth that fled when he was 14 from Afghanistan. They fled to Indonesia and eventually ended up in a refugee camp, but that journey is just incredible. They didn't have money and people uh, would just give them money out of friendliness and kindness so that they would have something to eat and the conditions there were or sometimes horrendous they would take all of their belongings out of their bags and they couldn't have cell phones and you know just finding a way out of there you know eventually by the United States was quite a relief to him. Zuma paints galaxy she's from Honduras and she likes the mix of colors it has and the millions of stars it makes me think that the world has many things to explore this painting makes me feel love because God made everything so perfect for us humans let us ask to enjoy everything in the world this is Rainbow by Nelson. He's from the Democratic Republic of Congo. He says he really likes the colors he finds in the rainbow. And unfortunately, I don't do that in the own colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. Six of these colors correspond to a well-defined chromatic field. Indigo matches the number of note names in the musical scale. And a rainbow is an optical phenomena occurring in the sky, which makes a continuous spectrum of sunlight visible when it shines during the rain. It is a colorful ball with red on the outside and purple on the inside. Many of our refugees have traversed countryside and live in remote jungles, and it's quite clear in art that it expresses themselves and what they choose to share with us. Do not let yourself be tormented by anyone by Suma, who's from Honduras. And a summary of what she says is that she's presented sometimes things are, that are good and bad can happen in your daily life, but everything happens 
like the water that never stays in one place and runs without limit. Do not let any, anyone live your life. You need to be free like the palms that the air blows without anyone preventing it. This is a collaborative of peace and we see one of these caravans and it's transformative and then it takes the uncertainty and fills it with hopes, dreams, and peace. In this piece by Dionisio from Guatemala, we see the challenges of nature and the imposed borders separating us. In some of the other paintings, you also find almost like roadmaps and journeys of documenting how many countries and cities and challenges that were encountered along the way. Soma creates another piece here and this is the sea and the beauty of it and how it transforms us. It's by Oliver and it's called A Very Hard Journey and it talks about his encounter and meeting police and the many hazards and hunger that he faced while he traveled through the desert and crossed the border. This is a piece by Binyam. He's from Eritrea and he considers learning enough English to communicate with others, getting good grades in school, and learning about American culture as his biggest accomplishments. This piece by Sanson from Eritrea, he considers his biggest accomplishment in America is getting good grades in school. He looks forward to going to college, getting a good job, a life, nice car, nice home, and having a family of his own someday. He's an excellent cook, and he's working hard to learn his English. Well, now Mariam of Eritrea paints the symbol on the country's flag. Diego from Guatemala loves sports cars. Kenzie from Honduras says that She's learned many new things and met people from many different countries. From the new connections I made, I learned about foods, religions, cultures, and traditions from countries different than my own. And my journey isn't over, and it always hasn't been easy. But I believe that anything is possible if you believe in yourself. Anna from Honduras says, I painted this because the beauty of a flower comes from its roots. Same like us, we have a beautiful personality and soul. People think that all people from other countries are criminals. Some of them don't agree with people coming here for a better life, but if they see the beauty in us, they will think differently. Marvin from Guatemala paints one of our most recurring themes from people from Guatemala that created these paintings, and that is the Quetzal bird. It is one of the animals featured on their country's flag. Soy Chapin de Sangre, that means I am Guatemala by blood. Yolani from Honduras says, I painted this tree because I like nature. Diego of Guatemala shares a peace pole photo that he took. I want people to feel welcome here in Lansing, he says. Maria from Honduras shares with us some sunflowers she painted. Sunflowers represent me because since I turned 15, I have wanted a tattoo of a sunflower, and I also think sunflowers are very cute. Wilmer of Guatemala paints all of the states in his country of Guatemala, and looks like a rose scene too as well. Sulma from Honduras paints the colors of my soul. I painted this picture representing my state of mind. I feel beautiful with the spirit to continue growing in abundance and to be happy. I sit like the gansos geese in the painting. They are happy and free. They swim without any concern. Juan of Guatemala says, Be proud of your country, of you being who you are. No matter what you color you are, we are all the same. All of us have gone through many things on our journey. We go through time without eating, without sleeping, and other things. But we are here for a good future for ourselves, and we'll fight to the end. 
Well, the Mariam of Eritrea paints this beautiful flag that's been painted over their country's shape, but it looks a lot like a rose. It's really amazing. Nelson from Guatemala is drawing called Sola. He loves to draw, and one of his goals is to draw his friends and girls in soccer. Yasika of Guatemala paints two people. The themes of separation and reunification replicate themselves through many of these pieces. from Guatemala and is painting beautiful sky. He says in Guatemala the sky in the morning is so blue and beautiful. During certain times of the year lots of birds fly over our village migrating north or south. We sometimes visited a big lake a few hours away that was always so pretty. This painting puts together the morning sky, the migrating birds, and the beautiful lake into one scene. Being in nature brings me peace and quiet which is why I chose to paint this scene. This is an untitled piece, but you can tell it's one from Guatemala because of the flag choice. And also, look at the Quetzal bird. It's sheltering the young refugees on their journey. Isaac from Honduras says, This represents what happened on the way, especially when I passed through Me Mexico, which was the hardest part of my trip, because there was suffering, cold, hunger, thirst, among other things. In this piece, a young person writes about their terrible experience in a school in the United States when they didn't understand English and embarrassing situations that were caused by the failure to recognize they didn't understand English. Abdu from Eritrea paints a Spartan logo. I chose to paint the Spartan logo because it represents two things to me. First is when I came from Africa to Michigan. This is my home and I love it. Second, the Spartan logo makes me think about college. I dream about what my future will be. Aida from Malaysia writes, when your world moves too fast and you lose yourself in the chaos, introduce yourself to each color of the sunset. You don't need beautiful weather to enjoy the evening. You only need a beautiful heart. Maria from Honduras writes, This painting represents my country where God gave me the opportunity to be born and grow for 14 years in my beautiful land, Honduras. Despite so many things that happened in my country, I will always love him, and it doesn't matter that I am living in another country. I love you, Honduras. I will never feel sorry for you, my beautiful Honduras. Sulmer of Honduras writes, The trees represent family for me and the water is life. There are bad things in our life, but the good news is the water never stops in the same place. So bad things leave with time. The sun, the color blue, all this represents how my life is. All the colors are like a happy life. Thank you for joining me on this gallery walk and I hope you found this journey inspirational as I have. We want to thank Kayla Park and Daniel Sosa of Samaritas in assisting us in putting together this exhibit. None of it would be possible without them. And we also want you to reach out to Samaritas, learn more about them. I'm going to put more um, links in the comment section that you can follow up. I, there is an orientation video that Daniel Sosa has created for Samaritas. And you'll find a very informative about not only the life skill development program that they have but also the foster care program that they have check them out like their page on facebook 
and we also want to thank Rudy Parker for helping with the lighting on this video walkthrough. Uh, without her, this definitely would have taken double the time to do. You have a good evening, and we'll see you soon.